Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and in this video I'll be playing RL Craft. So yeah, let's get right into it. So just in case you do not already know what RL Craft is, it's probably the most popular mod pack currently available for download. It has 126 mods, including Optifine, that I downloaded myself, and it just makes Minecraft more like real life, which means significantly more difficult. As you can see, above my hunger bar I have a thirst bar, and I also to the left of that have a temperature meter. If that goes too hot or too cold, I will start taking damage. There's also significantly more hostile creatures around. Like, I can hear something flying above me right now. I don't see it though, so there's possibility that I'm just going to get jumped. So the first thing I want to do is get a flint knife, so I need to find some gravel. And then after the flint knife, I need to get a flint pickaxe so I can mine some iron. And there's a village right here, so let's see if I can set my spawn point. And then I can actually you know, go searching for gravel. So I've got a bunch of loot from this village, and I think I'm going to live in this house right here. This is probably the nicest house in the whole village. We could just go inside real quick. You can see there's some furnaces, some chest. There's like four or five floors. More furnaces, more chests with some food in it. Bunch of beds, some more chests and crafting tables and all that good stuff ton of bookshelves. There's also a library in this village, so the bookshelves aren't really a problem. So right next to my house, as you can see, my house is right here. I found this nice little cave, and I noticed some gravel in it, so I'm going to try to get some flint. Hopefully I can do that pretty quickly. Now I just need to make a flint knife and a pickaxe. Actually, I could just go right to a stone pickaxe, so I don't even need a pick. I just need a knife to get some plant fibers, which are used in pretty much everything. Okay, so now I got this piece of flint, I can take it and hit it on this piece of stone and get two flint shards. Then I can use a flint shard and a stick to get myself a flint knife, which I can finally get some plant fibers, and it's a, you know, decent little weapon compared to my fist. And now that I have this flint knife, if I just come over here and break some grass, you can see I'm getting plant fibers. Now I can put these in a crafting grid like that and get some plant string. It's basically just a substitute for normal string. Also, if I take these rocks and put them in the 4x4 or 2x2 like this, I can craft cobblestone. So, now that I have this plant string, I can make myself a handle, just like that. And I can use this handle to make a stone rapier, which I believe is like this, yes. Now this is a very good beginner sword. This will carry me for a little while. As you can see, it has 3 attack damage, 2.4 attack speed. This is pretty good, but it also has damage absorption, as you can see in the top, which is much better than just increased attack speed. Now if I press shift, you can see a bit more stuff. 25.0% of damage taken, dealt in durability from this weapon. So basically, if I take damage, I'll lose durability in a sword, but it'll absorb 25% of the damage. And then the unarmored damage bonus is plus 200% base weapon damage when the foe has no armor, which is most mobs in this game. So I figured out how to level skills. Basically, all I have to do is go to the skill menu, then go to whatever skill. I'm going to level up attack. Then if I press this plus, as you can see, I have two experience levels at the bottom. If I press this plus, it uses an experience level to get a skill point in that skill. And of course, as I have to get my skills higher, it'll cost more experience points. But for now, it's only like one or two. Alright, so I gathered a few more rocks so I can make some more cobblestone. That's a nice little sound. And now I can make a stone pickaxe. There we go. So I can get iron, more cobblestone, all that good stuff. And I actually need one more rock. I want to make a stone axe as well, so I can actually mine wood. I don't know if I mentioned this already, but you cannot punch trees in RL craft. You need to make a tool first. Alright, so it turns out I actually need mining level 4 to break iron. So I'm going to have to do some leveling up. Okay, okay. This guy just... I killed a pig and this guy spawned. I don't know where he is. He messed up my controls there. Like, I couldn't control where I was going. Um... I didn't know that this guy could spawn from me just killing pigs, but maybe he can get me some XP. Oh, I hit him once. I did like half health. So I should be able to kill it. I don't know where it is. I can't see anything. 
but it's called a Reaper. Alright, so I got my stuff back and acquired 9 levels, so let's see if that's enough to get to level uh, 4 mining. Probably, I want to say... It is, good, okay. Now, if I take my stone pickaxe and go down to the mine shaft, or, you know, a cave, whatever, I should build mine iron now. Let's see if that works. Okay, let's see if we can mine this. We can, about time. I've never waited this long to get iron before in a Minecraft playthrough. Alright, looks like we're getting at 5 ore, but I know for sure that there's some in a mine shaft nearby to my village. And who knows, there might even be more just down here. So, mining in this game is actually kind of scary. Because one, it's super dark. But also, there's a creature that can spawn every time I break a block, like stone or anisite. And you cannot fight it, at least not early game. It will pretty much just one-tap you. I don't know if the brightness level matters, but... Yeah, it's always a risk mining ore like this. Okay, okay, here it is. Here's the creature. I broke a piece of coal and it spawned. I might actually be able to kill it, yeah. I was able to kill it just because I was stuck. But I definitely would have died if I was in a worse situation than that. So I think I'm going to put my next points into probably defense. Because if I get level 4 defense, then I can wear chain armor, which I have a full set of. And then I should be able to level up attack a few more times. Because I'm going to need more skills and attack to actually use iron tools so i got 11 iron in total i'm gonna make a bucket an iron pickaxe and some sort of weapon now the bucket is for a water so i can have a permanent water source to drink out of whenever i need to then the weapon and the pickaxe is self-explanatory all right so there's a lot of iron stuff that i can make i can make this iron great sword i can make an iron long sword an iron katana an iron saber, an iron rapier, an iron boomerang. I can make this iron plated shield. It seems like level 8 for defense and attack is the standard for iron stuff. I can make an iron glaive, an iron quarter staff. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's an iron mace, a battle axe. I don't know if I said that already. An iron lance. There's pretty much an iron every tool you can think of. There's even an iron strengthened longbow and crossbow, which I'm definitely going to get. I'm probably going to get both of these. Okay, I've decided that I'm going to get the iron plated shield and the iron rapier, wherever it is. Here it is. Crafted like this, and a shield. Crafted like that. This little mod, I don't know what it's actually called, but it's super useful. I can see every crafting recipe in the game. It's just amazing. Would recommend. So, since I got Defense 4, I can now wear Chain Armor, which is about twice as good as Iron. And yeah, basically all I have to do now is run around killing enemies to level up Attack and Defense. Uh, there's a giant lion attacking me. I don't know if I want to fight it or not. It looks like it would probably win. But you really can't judge creatures by their appearance in this game. A lot of really huge creatures are easy to kill. A lot of tiny ones are difficult. Do I go for it? I'm going to hide in a house and level up my skills first, so I don't lose any XP when I die. Okay. That was close. Now you see, it only did a heart and a half, but you can see my head down there is orange. So if you would have hit me like one more time, I probably would have just insta-died, even though I would have still had like eight hearts left. So, I learned this from a YouTube video. These guys that look super dangerous, they don't actually attack you. Now that guy over there, mm, no, that's not an alpha. I thought that was an alpha. The alphas will attack you, but these guys, they won't. They'll just sit there while you can kill them. They give XP, and they also give this raw maca meat, which gives you like 8 hearts of absorption for a decent amount of time. So these, this stuff is actually better than golden apples, and just from killing a defenseless animal. So apparently the rapier doesn't really have that much durability, which kind of sucks, but whatever. It's just stone, and it's really cheap, so I'm not bothered. So that was actually pretty good timing for my stone rapier to break, because I just got enough experience to level up to attack 8. 
which means I can now craft those iron tools that I was talking about. I don't have any sticks right now, so I'm going to have to get it. Actually, let's check my chest. No, so I'm going to have to go out and get a stick. Then I can craft the iron rapier, and we can test it out. All right, so I'll make the rapier now. All I have to do is craft a handle. I'm pretty sure it's exactly like the stone one, just with iron. Close out like that. Yes. Look, this thing looks powerful. Now, this is the highest attack speed weapon that I could find that's iron. Oh, this guy has like three forge? Its quality is thin. It has plus 10% attack speed, but minus 5% attack damage. I'd say overall that's positive, because it does have the plus 200% uh, base weapon damage when the foe has no armor, which is most mobs. So this is still a good weapon, but let's craft the shield now. Now I know I had to... Yes, I had to make the crude wooden shield, which is planks and a stick in the middle. Now, you can't just craft planks like this. You actually have to, I'm pretty sure you have to put them on the ground and then right click. Yes, there we go. How many did that give me? Two. That's not very good. Oh, I have to click the uh, like the exposed wood part to get the planks. Alright, so it actually gave me a different amount of planks each time. Whatever. Let's make the shield. Make sure is every slot except for the two corners, yes. Let's equip this just to see how the wooden shield is. Alright, pretty much exactly what I would expect. Let's turn it into an iron one. Actually, I'm not going to have enough iron, am I? No, I'm missing one iron. Do I have, do I have an iron? I don't. I'm going to have to get an iron. Alright, I'll get an iron, then we can craft the shield. Alright, so I got the extra iron ingot, and now I should be able to craft the shield. Why is it not working? Let me check the recipe again. Does that have to be default? Because this shield has a reforge, so... Oh no, I'm just uh, using the wrong recipe. Alright, there we go. Iron plated shield. Block and left click to shield bash. That sounds nice. Let's see. Wait, oh yeah, I still don't have enough defense to use this. Well, I'll have to do that off camera. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode of RL Craft. Remember to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next Minecraft video. Bye everyone!